If you've ever wondered about the secret lives of superheroes, then Grant Ennis and Derek Robertson's The Boys is the creator-owned comic for you. Well, if you don't mind seeing your heroes portrayed as the worst people ever. Sure, it's depraved, but sex, drugs, and superheroing is wildly entertaining stuff, which is probably why Amazon is footing the bill for an upcoming TV series from former Supernatural showrunner Eric Kripke and Ennis's The Preacher producer Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, who know a thing or two about depravity, you know what I mean. It's also why we're breaking down all 72 issues and three miniseries into two minutes. So the boys take place in a world where superheroes exist but are pretty messed up. They basically treat the world like their own frat house. CIA agent Billy Butcher gets director Susan Rayner to sign off on reforming the boys, a black ops team of super police. Also, Billy and Susan frequently have sex together, which I'm pretty sure is a CIA policy against it, but whatever. The boys consist of boys with really weird names, Mother's Milk, Frenchman, and Hui Huey, a Scott whose girlfriend's arms were cut off by a jerk superhero named A-Train. Billy injects Wee Huey with Compound 5, the super expensive serum invented by the Nazis. Oh wait, there's also a woman among the boys, the innovatively named female of the species, who used to work for the mob, is a ruthless killer, and suffers from selective mutism? Meanwhile, evangelical and angelic superhero Annie January, aka Starlight, opts to leave the young Americans to join the most elite superhero group of them all, the Seven, but their leader, the Homelander, defies OSHA workplace standards and forces Annie to perform oral sex on half the team and show a little more skin before she can join, so needless to say, this is an incredibly progressive organization. Then, Wee Huey and the I can't believe she's not aphasic from trauma Annie meet on a random park bench and start a love affair without knowing the other's secret identity or affiliation. Hijinks! It's actually sort of sweet, but also kind of bloody and gross. Over the course of the series, the boys go about taking down deviant soups, including, but not excluded to, the hooker-crushing Teenage Kicks team, the Any Orifice Will Do Techno Soup Tech Knight, a Russian coup-inducing army of Kate mercenaries led by a manic masturbator, Little Nina, the G-Men, and all their many subordinate G-Factions, the revenge-minded payback supergroup who foolishly try to take down the boys, and even a zombie superhero named Blarney Cock. Plus, throw in time spent at superhero orgy called Herogasm, plenty of exposition from the ultra-knowledgeable comics writer, the legend, background arcs on all the boys, a full-on US government super coup attempt by the Homelander's army, including his evil twin, Black Noir, and infighting and manipulating that ultimately blows the team up. So there you go. If you haven't gotten the hint, this series is incredibly graphic, explicit, it uses profanity about as frequently as people share cat videos on my Facebook feed and my Instagram feed, my Snapchat feed, and all the other feeds combined. Anyway, have fun reading.